So in quite a few videos of mine over the last month or so, I've been getting a lot of these really odd comments on, is it time for me to start prepping? But I have a lot of guns and ammo, you know, you grab your buck knife and your gun and everything else, and what, you think you're ready to go? You think that's what prepping is all about? You are totally mistaken on the whole picture of being a prepper. And we're gonna explain that starting now. So what is your whole idea of a prepper? First off, I'd like you to put in the comments below, what do you think it means to be a prepper? And let's see what everybody out there thinks. A prepper is somebody that preps for the unknown, that preps to be ready in a dire situation that could be life or death for you and your family, or it could be the lack of all the basic necessities that people need on a daily basis. Power, fuel, food, and shelter. And this is what a prepper plans for. You see, the big misconception out here in this world is, if you're a prepper, you're a hoarder. No. You are not. Let me clarify that real quick, folks, okay? People that hoard are the ones that are going into the store and they clean the shelves out. They take everything. Most preppers don't do that. Most preppers have a plan. Most preppers know what they have, what they want to have, and how they're going to succeed in getting that stocked up. Now, you have to remember when you're prepping, it's not all about food, folks. It's not all about what you have in food. Everybody thinks that the food part is the most important part, which in effect kind of is, but it also goes back to you have to have a nice rounded supply of all types of things in your arsenal. A prepper is somebody that preps not only food, a prepper is somebody that preps water, way to purify water, way to boil water. If you have to add chlorine tablets, a prepper knows how to get water. Water is the main thing that you have to be able to get if you don't have enough of, and you have to make sure that it is safe for you or your family to drink. Supplies of all kinds roll into being a prepper. Next would be something in the, along the lines of any type of medical necessities. First aid kits, all this different types of stuff. Basically with first aid, you buy what you know how to use. If you don't know how to use something, don't spend the money on something you don't know how to use unless maybe you're going to take a course on something or maybe you do have knowledge this way here you can order and buy those types of products. You have to have power for you and your family. Rather that be whatever. It could be battery banks, it could be generators, solar power. It could be a lot of different things. Some way to generate power, some way to generate a way to cook is another issue. You see, there is a nice rounded pyramid that goes around this. Water should be number one, food, and then you start on all your other supplies. What happens if your home is destroyed? Do you have some way to make shelter? Do you know how to make shelter? Can you make shelter with a tarp? Maybe you need to buy a tent. This way you can pitch a tent, at least everybody could get inside and stay dry if it is raining. See, these are all the things that you have to think about. You have to have a nice rounded effect for being a prepper. So to everybody out there that just sat here and they're saying, well, you know, should I start prepping now? I have guns and ammo. Guns and ammo ain't going to get you too far. You might think it's going to get you too far, but it's not. More than likely, it's going to get you killed. If you think you're just going to go start taking people's stuff because you have guns and ammo. Because more than likely, they're going to have guns and ammo too. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm all for 
everybody's right to bear arms. Don't get me wrong. But you also have to realize when it comes to prepping, and the reason I'm addressing this is because I've had a lot of these kind of comments over the last month. I want to make sure people understand just having guns and ammo isn't the whole picture. It's one piece of the pie to have self-defense for you and your family. You have to put all the other pieces of the pie into the pie dish so you have a complete pie for when SHTF hits the fan and you're ready. So I just wanted to do a video today just to clear that up a little bit for people out there that really don't understand what's going on. And I hope that everybody stays safe. You keep prepping, keep putting those supplies away. And by all means, I will catch all of you on the flip side.